In this video I'm going to show you how to create this gold text effect in Adobe Photoshop. To get started we're going to make ourselves a new document. It's 1000 pixels in width and 600 pixels in height. Once that canvas appears on your page you will need to pop on down to your paint bucket tool. We're going to select a very dark grey as our background colour today and just slap it onto your canvas. The next thing we're going to do is grab our text tool from our toolbox. We're going to choose a font that is known as Trajan Pro. So if you scroll down to the letter T, you'll see Trajan Pro. I'm going to make it about size 200 and I'm going to change the color of it to a lightish orange. Once you've got those settings all sorted, Trajan Pro, 200 point, and a light orange is your color. Click on your page and in capital letters write the word gold. Use your move tool to put it into the middle of the page. Now over in the layers panel on the right hand side I want you to right click on the gold layer and choose blending options. We're going to add a bevel and emboss to this gold text. So if you click on bevel and emboss you'll start to see that we're slightly chiseling away the edges of the shape. Once we put in the bevel and emboss, there's a few settings we need to change. The first one is the depth. We want to get it up to about 225%. Then we're going to pop down to the size and change it to 8 pixels. And then finally, the gloss contour. From the drop down box, I want you to choose the second option in the second row, which is the ring contour. You can start to see your gold text getting this shiny effect to it. Click OK once you've done that. Next thing we're going to do is right click on this gold layer and we're going to duplicate layer. It's going to ask for a name. Just click on OK. On this new layer called Gold Copy, I want you to right click again and I want you to convert it to a smart object. From here, I'm going to get you to go up to Edit and Free Transform. Now that you've got Free Transform up, I want you to click in the middle of the text and just drag that little circle thing, the anchor point, down to the bottom so it's just there. Once you've done that, I want you to right click on the text, go down to flip vertical. It makes an upside down copy of your text and we're going to use this as a reflection. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is just click the tick up the top just to say we'll apply that transformation. We're going to pop on down to our layers panel here and we're going to add a layer mask in. So you click the button that's a rectangle with a little circle inside of it. Once we've created that layer mask, we're going to grab our gradient tool from our toolbox. So it's hiding near our paint bucket. Grab the gradient tool there. Now from our color box at the top here, we want to choose this one where in mine it's red going to transparent. We're actually going to change that red color, so we click on that color bar. We're going to change that color to black. Click OK. And this last color here, we want to change it from red to white. But what it does, it goes from black and it fades into an invisible color here. OK, so we click on OK. So you look at your little color bar at the top now, you should have black fading into transparency, which is a checkered box. Once you've got that, I'm going to start at this bottom zero down here and just click and drag up. Not quite to the top of the O at the top, but just up near there. That's going to start to fade out the bottom reflection here. We're also going to change the layer opacity. So this gold copy layer, we're going to change the opacity down to around 45, 50%. I might go to about 46% there. Now if you want, you can grab your move tool click on this text down the bottom here and I'm just going to use my arrow keys to nudge it a bit closer to the other text so the reflection is pretty close. Um, over in our layers panel just click on the gold copy again we're going to make a new layer above this so go down to your new layer button just next to the trash can there. What we're going to do now is just put some white sparkles on this text so we can do that by grabbing our paintbrush tool we just choose a soft brush, so I'm going to choose the first option here. And I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. OK, 
can't even see it at the moment. Oh, it's because it's too big, so I'll drop it down in size. And we're just going to click once on the G, and we'll see what this size looks like. Okay, so that's a pretty good size, but the issue is it's came out orange. So what you need to do is make sure that your colour here is set to white. Now I should be able to put in a bit of a sparkle. I'll put one over here on the O, and I might put one on the D as well. Okay, so we've got three sparkles, and what we're going to do with those to make them look a bit more realistic is pop on over to layer 1 and make sure our blending mode here is set to overlay. And yeah, that doesn't look too bad now. So that's about it with the gold text. Got a nice shiny set of text with a cool reflection just below it. If you want, you could change the background colour again. Um, I find that might be a little bit too light, so I'm going to go back to my paint bucket tool. I'll choose an even darker grey than what I did before, and then click on the page. That just darkens it down a little bit more. That looks good. If you want, you can grab the crop tool as well, and just crop around that so it fits nicely. Press enter when we're done, and there's our gold text. When you're finished, go to file, save for web, Make sure you've got it set to a JPEG at high or very high quality. That's it.